Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Is my volume on? I want to make sure my volume's on. I have a public service announcement today. And that is, <clears throat> I recently wrote a blog post out about millennials and how we should stop treating them differently or trying to figure out how we should manage them and really just treat them like the adults they are in the business. Um, but what's interesting is the headline I used was <clears throat> how to manage millennials, colon, treat them like adults. And of course, when you write a headline and it tweets directly from the blog, that's what goes out. And I had several people say things like, treat us like adults, the oldest millennials are 34, the youngest are 18, we are adults. Um, comments like that where it's pretty clear that those people did not read the blog post, they just uh, commented on the headline. And so my public service announcement is this. If you're going to scan headlines and tweets and Facebook updates and all those kinds of things, totally fine. 100% get it. We're all busy. There are lots of things that we have to do and there's so much content coming at us all the time. But if you're going to respond or comment, please, 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 please do yourself a favor and read what you're commenting on first. Do a little bit of research if it's something that you think might uh, not be true, such as something that could be hacked or photoshopped or completely made up. Use things like Snopes to help you figure those things out and always keep yourself educated so that you don't look like an idiot when you, <laughs> when you comment um, and you don't waste people's time. So my, my response to that was totally agree with you. Did you read the, the blog post? So that's my public service announcement. Critical thinking skills, let's use them. Adios.